time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. Hundred miles per hour might crash cause a good die young. Yeah, a good die young. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Khalid YouTube channel. My name is Renzo and today we're back with a brand new video and luckily, like you saw in the intro of this video, we won't be conceding those corners anymore. They were stupidly overpowered. It has been patched in the latest patch and they do have still like a slim chance of actually uh, working, but in general, these don't work anymore. So what does? You'll see it in this video, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. And like always, just sit back relax and enjoy so first of all let's not forget that in the description we have a link to our fifa 22 course as well as our coaching sessions so please check those out if you are looking for some extra help in fifa 22 and also like i said don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys leave a thumbs up notification bell on stuff like that all right, enough talking. I'm just quickly moving the camera so you guys just see that. But what is happening here? For this corner kick that you saw is really good in terms of just trying to create chaos in and around the box. Like crowd the keeper. So you wanna press the D-pad down as we've shown. And then you wanna press the D-pad to the left to crowd the keeper. And what it does, like you can see here, it's just, there's just space opening up in front of the goalkeeper. And even if you move the keeper initially, the keeper's going to move backwards. So there's still that opportunity to actually get that space. And it's all about this space, like this run. Like we see here, I don't know who it exactly is from the opponent, I think it's Icardi. But he is going to make that run towards the goalkeeper. And when we cut on the outside of Vinicius' right foot now, he can swing it in, like you saw that, that little touch to the outside, so he swings in the corner. And this is something that I tried to explain a couple, well, months ago in the crossing tutorial that on this game, the ball is effective uh, from crosses when it is being swung in, like when you can actually have the curve towards the inside. And as you can see here as well, with run near uh, or crowd the keeper, sometimes even if they're further out, so if you perform this quickly, the run is good and it's just an easy goal. So Crowd the Keeper is probably one of the most consistent methods that we found that it actually works out quite well. But don't forget to, if you don't know how to get the second man already standing there, that during that screen that you just saw, press R1 to get this man actually down there. Just in case you don't know that yet. But this variant is also pretty efficient where you just take the ball down the byline and try to get into the box a little bit and wait for the player at the back post, especially Ginola. Ginola is a strong header of the ball. CR7, even tall center backs will likely um, post up at the back post. And once you see this situation, you just know that you have a big chance of scoring because yeah, it's just a matter of Ginola really winning the header. So sometimes maybe you have to try and do an L1 cross, but in this case, we just tapped the cross button, like one to two bars of power maximum, because we already cut inside. If you want to try to make a cross like this one, like this one is pretty far, far out, you want to put at least three bars. And as well, you're going to see here that this again is a cross where this, like, the, the curve of the cross is towards the goal. And that that is what makes the crosses so dangerous. And yeah, it's just, like I said, towards the back post, if there is somebody that you think will end up winning the header, it's really good. Here again, it's just all about the run or somebody posting up there. Um, and if, like I said, if you get past that first man, you just can't see if the, that option is gonna uh, open up. So what is also happening sometimes that once you cut on the inside or like the outside, you sometimes might notice that there's actually space where Hakimi is right now that we pointed at. And you can literally just cross it in there. Like crosses are very, really accurate and it's just a matter of always looking where the space in the box is. And you can just cross it in there and trust me, it will be dangerous. But also we've tried out to run near post. 
And this is something that we're used to from previous FIFA's. Always the near post corner worked quite well. But we felt like this year it's a bit different. But with the run near post, it is quite efficient. Um, you can try it sometimes to just if somebody's anticipating a different, uh, if that you're taking it short and he's not moving his goalkeeper, you can try to run near post. So D pad downwards and downwards again to have the run near post. And as you can see, you get a strong header of the ball. You can still score these. But that was it for the corner kick tutorial. We thought that we let you guys know because people and even the pros are struggling right now with corners. Everybody's just doing something. Try these out, practice them. Let me know what your results are. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.